want to talk to you about the concept of an EPD, which Matt is going to reiterate again later. Um, another word we use it for it is an estimated breeding value. A breeding value and EPD mean pretty much the same sort of thing, but it's a concept that goes back uh, probably three quarters of a century. And if you ask somebody what is an EPD or what is an EBV, we tell you it was something to do with the genetic merit of an animal. And there's two different ways we could describe it. If you go back to textbooks 60 years ago, they would use both of those descriptions. But you probably only know one of them, although after today you'll know both of them. So the idea of an EPD was if we've got a bull, and if you uh, don't mind the fact that this is actually a Brayford, but uh, there's a Brayford sire, and he's got a bunch of offspring. And what I want to know is how good is that sire? I want to describe that sire in terms of how good he is as a parent. And what he passes on to the progeny has nothing to do with his appearance. His appearance, he's just an envelope. He's an envelope of DNA, and only his DNA gets passed on. So I'm not too worried about specifically what he looks like. What I'm interested in is what do his offspring look like. And not only do they look like from the eye, but what do they look like when I weigh them, or eat them, or do something else with his offspring. So what we might do is weigh those offspring. We might weigh them, say, at weaning, and they're going to have some average weight, but some of them will be heavier, and some of them will be lighter. Now, some of the heavier ones will be heavier just because they were born earlier, and some of the lighter ones will be lighter just because they're born later. So I need to take some, I need to use some method to adjust those things out. So I want to get what their weight would have been if they'd all been born on the same day. Now some of them may have been born to first calf heifers, and some of them may have been born to older cows, and older cows produce more milk and have bigger calves. Provided the data was properly recorded and people recorded the correct birth dates and dam ages and all those kind of things, then I can pretty well guarantee that the EPD is correct. And we sometimes have breeders that call up and say, uh, you know, there's something wrong with this EPD system. The bull was meant to be plus 10 and my calf was plus 5 or plus 30 or some other number. That's exactly what I would expect because there's a lot of variation within the offspring of one sire. But if that person observed a lot of offspring, they would get the answer that the EPD says it is if it's based on enough information.